finally here. Pluto is finally in Aquarius. Welcome home. Welcome home to everyone who feels, you know, you never fit into the old way of doing things. So today we went a little bit extra glam to celebrate this big day. It feels like my birthday. It kind of is because it's a rebirth day for so many of us. So many things are now falling away, have to die. And it's so interesting for me as a projector to just witness the things that I saw coming for years now. And I just got off a call with my projector academy clients and we were saying that this is our time. This is the time of projector leadership. But it's also the time for all other human design types who always felt ahead of time, who always felt you saw and sensed and felt something that is coming. And you know that you're going to play a very important role in this new era. And now this era is here. And I want to talk a little bit about what that means for your business, what that means for your offers, for your gifts to bring into the world. Because I feel, and let me know if this is you in the in the comments, say yes in the comments. I always felt like this whole waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Yes, I'm a projector. There's certain strategy around us uh, needing to or having to wait for the recognition, the invitation, but this is a different waiting. This is like when it's actually go time into this new way. When do people get it? And not everyone will get it, but I definitely know that you have a message to share. You have offers to bring to the world. Your work is different and it could, it could have felt like nobody gets you, you're crazy, your work is so different than anyone else is doing and you never wanted to mold in or maybe you tried it in the past and it's not, it doesn't align with who you truly are and your vision and also this knowing that you're meant to do, to bring different work into the world, to contribute to an evolution of the collective humanity. Um, and now, today, I feel like something just clicked in and got adjusted since this full moon, which was another big, big moon to release a lot and close old loops. I feel Sunday, Monday, and today, clarity, clarity, clarity coming in. Also clarity about why certain things needed to happen this year, um, where I, to be honest, also had freak out moments like, what the fuck is going on? And my body is telling me, no, we're not doing this anymore. We, we, we don't go into this direction. And it's really this full on body twisting into preparation for what we have now. And this is a big transit over 20 years. So this is just the beginning. But if you're sensitive, if you're an intuitive, if you really, if you're a projector, a visionary, you definitely feel it. Hello. And so I am celebrating this day. It feels like my birthday. I'm so excited. I'm, 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 I'm feeling it and this anticipation and also the clarity and the excitement about to create something new. But here's the thing. As always, I bring a different twist into this conversation. And I want to talk about innovation. I want to talk about individuality. And I want to talk a little bit about influence. Um, because if you are, and tell me how you're feeling this day. Do you feel an energy shift? Um, maybe you have more clarity. I am a Aquarius sun and a Capricorn moon. So I'm feeling it a lot, but I'm actually feeling finally in it, feel so much better than building up to it. So I got so much more clarity about the work that I want to create, the message. Um, my clients are having crazy breakthroughs, celebrations, over celebrations. Just the last week, things are changing so quickly and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I love to go fast. I'm a high achiever. I have a clear vision. I have big goals and I know you too. And I already saw 
a lot of posts around what this Aryan Arano means and what it means for your business and it's all about innovation and yada yada. And yes, yes, but I want to challenge this a little bit and say, you know, the most innovative thing you can bring to your work, to your niche, to the world is to be more and all of you, to be fully you. And this is what Wa said is essential as we go into 2027. I mean, this is just one big transit that, um, you know, affects the entire collective. But then 2027 is a complete different background energy. And so the most, when everybody's talking about innovation and now pressure, mental pressure to get innovative with your offers and how you can, you know, trail blaze this movement or whatever, I say, just lean back and be you. That's the most rebellious, innovative thing that you can do and radically owning that. And when it comes to your work, then... I know for myself and from all of my clients is that what you have been doing behind the scenes is innovation. You do not have to innovate. Your work has always been ahead of time. And now time catches up. Now people are looking for different mentors, different approaches to healing, to strategy, to any other modality out out there. And it's not about selling the next framework. It's really about fully supporting individual transformation, fully embodied and not taught. So I know that your work is different. And so instead of feeling pressure from all this noise that's going to come up even more over the next weeks and months about getting innovative, and especially when it goes into next year, every other coach wants to tell you to sign up with them to for the next strategy and the next trend and whatever the innovative thing next year we I said, you are already a trailblazer. Your work is so ahead of time that you don't need to do anything except for looking at what have you created so far, the structures that are compromising your genius to be fully seen and witnessed. And that came from certain strategies around messaging, branding, your positioning, communication. So what I notice uh, yeah, I had a conversation yesterday with um, a peer in front of mine, a manifester is like, yeah, yeah, I have so much things to bring to my client's work that I can have hard times to articulate. And especially if you are not a designer of marketing and sales, it is not easy to put our genius as visionaries, as creatives, as intuitives um, into uh, marketing mumbo jumbo yeah and that's my my gift is to and my strength my expertise is to bridge both to know the energy and the energetic geometry of my clients see their genius and bring that into messaging and marketing so um when I know you are meant to impact a lot of more people and your work is so innovative and so new. And now it's about elevating, innovating the way how you communicate this. You want to communicate it and market and sell it in a way that feels so naturally, so free, so rebellious by you bringing more of you into the work that you do. When I say the most innovative thing you can do to stand out with the incredible work that is innovative, then, and the impact that you are meant to make with that work, then you want (coughs) to, sorry, (coughs) the question is, so the most innovative thing you can do is to be more yourself. And in your business context, that means showing more of your true self of your genius in your brand. And this is where it's about the energetics of influence. 
It's not just how can I impact more people? How can I make more sales? This is your energy has a certain geometry and has carries a certain impact that you naturally do on others by just being in the room, just present. Just your essence and your presence in itself impacts people. You don't have to do anything but being yourself. Hi, Olga. There you go. I just talked about you. And it is radically innovative to show all of you in this space where still the old structures are to fit in, to follow trends, to feed the algorithm. Now, I want to say that the energetics of influence are written down in your unique matrix in your chart. And today I was on a a strategy call around messaging and building that personal brand by design. And it is so easy for me to look at the chart and to identify the strength and mercury placements, for example, that give me clear indicators about your message, your positioning, who you are here to serve, to guide, to support, because this is the thing. Your brand right now, your positioning, the what you sell, has been capped and limited compromised due to the structures that we that that you have been operating in in this industry in the marketing strategies etc now as we go into aquarius you your work as i said is ahead of time and you have been marketing selling advertising that work to the wrong people actually by dimming yourself down, by dimming, you know, going more behind the scenes, pushing that more to the back burner. And now everything gets stripped away, has to die to make space so that that comes to the forefront. And now you might realize that, oh my God, I actually, this is just what a projector told me um, on that call. He said, you know, you're so right. I am speaking to the wrong people. I'm speaking through the wrong people because I always thought that she told me that she said, I always thought that the level of clients that I want to work with and that I know I'm meant to work with, they don't get it or they don't see me. And this is the thing. They cannot see you if you're not fully showing all of you. And that's more an energetic thing than a branding phone messaging thing. The industry is telling you to solve a problem on, I don't attract the right clients. I want to make more sales. How do I do this? Just on a messaging, strategic messaging level. But if you use structures, strategies, and frameworks that convert content into sales, then what happens is that you mold yourself into a framework and that distorts your energetic frequency. So your most aligned energy, when you're in your genius, when you lit up, when you're in your power, when you when you're crazy, when you're over the top, when you're at a level of intelligence, auric intelligence, future work that, you know, conversations, quantum codes, whatever your language is, your ideal clients will get you. But those old Capricorn influence structures may and strategies made you believe you cannot just show up and speak that way. It has to be this and this way. Now with Pluto and Aquarius, everything gets like you can be the rebel. You can be the rebel. And as I said, just the most rebellious thing is to be yourself. And when I say, how can you bring more of you and your genius and your essence into your business? It's really creating an aligned personal brand by based on your design specifics, not based on certain brand frameworks that some brand experts put onto you because they see you as that and they create a certain image. This is about your energetic influence. 
And there's a strategy in your chart that, and I see it as 100% mechanics. And I can translate it into a strategy that monetizes your essence, your genius, without you needing to be someone else, without you needing to explain the work that you do. That's the big difference of my work. This is innovative. I take, there's an, the energetics of influence for me is when I see your alignment, I see you in your alignment, and that gets represented by your personal brand when people really know you and and you can be yourself fully without needing to explain what you do and why you're doing it. And when you position yourself and place yourself at the level where you don't feel you need to settle or dim yourself down, people look at you differently. And the reason why you haven't attracted your clients so far is because you're ahead of time. The reason because you um, didn't attract the clients because you have been not really talking to them in the way that you naturally are designed to express yourself because all those old structures forced you to be a more dimmed down, smaller version of you. And this is really... Yes, about innovation, but your, as I said, your work is already very innovative. It's totally different. And it's now only the question, how can you change your business, your brand, your messaging and your offers so that that innovative part, that new part gets seen because people are now ready. People are ready and looking for work that is different, but they will also notice now everyone who is not a trailblazer who is not an innovator jump on that train of oh we're now in the age of the aquarius and we're now innovating when this is this i already saw some posts of people who using that language and maybe they know a little bit about astrology but they don't know really the energetics behind it and they're approaching it from the mind. And that is, it still doesn't work because when we go into 2027, it's not about collective. It's not about community. It's about individuality. Yeah. And we, it's not about the tribe anymore. It's not about contribution. It's very, very different. It's very, um, very much focused on you. And that's why the personal brand, it's not selfish. It's not egotistical, but it is about differentiation. And di being different in human design and differentiation is that you are and live fully yourself and you have your business designed and structured and up and running successfully that supports you being able to be fully you. And that makes you different. That makes you stand out. That gets you seen. Because you're in your highest alignment, you're shining the brightest, and your energetic influence is the strongest. And there's a certain code behind it. And this is certain aspects of your chart. It's your profile. It's your Mercury placement. It's your Mars, so subconscious Mars. It's your Venus placement. I see, like when I look at someone's chart, it's so clear. It's, 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 it, here again, it's hard to describe. I don't know I'm a genius in that. And my gift is now coming out even more to put it into a concept. But that is not old structures because someone else said that sells. It's you, but in a more clear and focused way because you do want to be able to communicate what you do, but in your words. And the personal brand that I'm creating with my clients is really based on your design and uses the energetics of influence rather than strategic pillars and content types and messaging that is, yes, strategic and wants to speak to your ideal client. You want to be, that's the thing that you need to look at to elevation. Elevate your ideal client, go really to the point, elevate your prices, elevate your offers, elevate your proximity, meaning people should not have so much access to you, and radically own 
that this is now that you are the mentor, you are the leader, you are the guide of this new era. People, you have been waiting for this. You have been preparing for this. You are fucking ready. You were designed. You were born for this time. And now it's about letting everything die and taking away the structures that have limited yourself and your income and your impact and your influence so far. And especially when it comes to marketing and sales, there's a lot that you can let go of from now on. So I am very excited for this. And I know we are moving away from just competition and making cash into co-creation. And when it comes to co-creation, you your work is innovative. Now, I also know that the way you want to work with clients gets to be more innovative. Like Olga is on here and we had a discussion yesterday and I'm helping her to bring her new offering into the world. But we have been limited so far in terminology and concepts and structures like group program, one-to-one, one-off session, retreat, mastermind, whatever it is. And people have already a certain expectation and maybe a version or attraction to certain offers. But here's the thing. A mastermind never resonated with me because A, I'm not about the mind. My entire business is about body, embodiment, intuition. So I cannot call something a mastermind when I'm not wanting to make that like coding that energy with words because words are codes and this is what you manifest. So for me, it is my work is only one-to-one. I'm a projector. I guide one-to-one. Yes, there may be a group setting, but I have been since two years already, three years, I stepped out of the coaching model into mentorship model. That was a one evolution. So I know I'm Aquarius. I'm ahead of time. And I know what I'm talking about. I have been doing this already for two years. And yes, it felt harder to scale. And I tried it the old way and it felt not right. But now I know that why my model has not been fully taking off was because we have not been in the energetics for it, but now we are. And so my work is 100% customized. It's no, nothing, no, no set framework. And then you get squeezed into it. I'm not teaching to one concept to everyone. It's all customized and it's more consulting than coaching. And so my work now gets even more into innovation that I have certain models where I'm so confident in the brand development, the marketing for this new era that I say, you know what, I'm taking the lead of your launch. It's not just creating a launch concept or a launch strategy. It's I take the lead of your launch. I'm doing it with you. I'm in it with you. And so innovative is also the compensation that If you get paid, I get paid. We're in this together. Yeah. And there are other models where there's a certain, you know, baseline consulting compensation, um, but not anymore. Like this is the package and this is painful and this is monthly installments, a payment plan. No, because how invested are your mentors really in your success? So let's get innovative here. And this is what I do. I have now new models where working one-on-one is so customized that even the price model, the compensation model is customized. So when I say I get paid only when you get paid, then you go like, oh my God, she is really certain that and confident that the work she does works. I said, yes, I see. I saw that the last, this, this year where everybody was talking about, you know, the economy and people are buying differently. So they're giving money back guarantees to manipulate people to buy. But I want to say money back guarantees tied to conditioning that serves the seller, not the buyer, are manipulation. When I say I come into your business, I lead the launch and I get paid when you get paid, that's risk 
on me as well. And I'm in it. I'm invested in it. I'm fully owning that. And I'm, 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 I'm part of it. That is co-creation. Yeah. This is innovation. And that excites me. And so I am, if that is a business model or it is the work that I'm just talking about, um, is, it resonates with you and you say, yeah, I actually want to build my personal brand next year. I want, I have innovative work that I want to get out there, but in a different way, I want to be clear how to articulate and communicate what I do behind the scenes because it's so new. It's so different. I need help with this. And I want to enjoy your eyes on my chart and helping me create that strategy and even learn more about my concepts where I say, you know, different investment models, um, innovative ways, then get excited. You can message me the word waitlist because I'm opening a waitlist where you can get on and I get to know and be first about these new era offers that I am creating next week and in the weeks to come, but only the ones who are in on that waitlist will be first to know you will get the opportunity to you know talk with me first it's all very exclusive it's all very limited spaces it's only one to one and there of course are special invitations and prices for that waitlist so when you join the waitlist and the waitlist opens at the end of the week you get also already resources that I've created on new era marketing, especially the role of the projector, of the manifester, of the generators in that new era, um, new era um, branding, um, new era offer design, like all these um, audios that I've created, I will send out to that wait list to just prepare you and that you get to you know know what you need to look for. Um, and what needs to change? So doing a little self audit in your business and your brand. So I'm very excited to do really this work differently now, because to be honest, I want my mentors and the people that I work with to be as invested as I am in reaching my goals. And so I'm invested in the success of my clients. And I always wished that my mentors would really, you know, see me so deeply like I see my clients. And I want to, I'm not working with anyone anymore that doesn't understand human design. Um, and talking design is different than anything else that I've experienced before. So you can, when you work with me, guarantee, I guarantee that I see you like no one before. And we create something so individually that no one has created before and no other client will receive. So that is, you know, what I've always done in the consulting space, 100% customized for all clients. That is an innovation for me. That is, for me, it is really following my intuition and saying, okay, this client needs this, and this client needs that. And I cannot limit the amount of calls. One client is just on Telegram, 24 hours with me and doesn't want to call and the next client is prefers to have calls so why should I just sell three months three calls per month and telegram Monday to Friday and please don't do not really message me because otherwise you're not self-led that's not innovation and that's not customization for me so this is just my personal thoughts and what I'm doing what you want to do in your business that's very personal to you I always bring it back to you. I never put anything onto my clients, but I all also know that you are a trailblazer. You are an innovator and this is your time. And now it's time to restructure your business so that you can skyrocket your business in 2025 in a very innovative way. Um, and I help you with that if you desire to. So message me if you have questions, if you want to chat or if you want to get on the wait list definitely message me the word waitlist and I get you the link as soon as everything is prepared. So very excited for this. And then other than that, have an incredible rest of the first day of the new era. See you soon. Bye.